Protesters gathered at the Florida State Prison in Rayford for the scheduled execution of Donald Dilbeck, a man convicted of heinous crimes. The sentence of the state of Florida versus Donald Dilbeck was carried out at 6.13 p.m. Many anti-death penalty groups attended the vigil, including Floridians for Alternatives to the Death Penalty, Our Lady of Lords, a church in Daytona Beach, and Death Penalty Action. Not everyone united in protest against the execution. In 1990, Dilbeck murdered a woman named Faye Van. She resisted his carjacking attempt. Officers found him after he crashed the vehicle. Van's family issued a written statement. 11,932 days ago, Donald Dilbeck brutally killed our mother. We were robbed of years of memories with her, and it has been very painful ever since. However, the execution has given us some closure. We are grateful to the governor for carrying out the sentence. Florida Department of Corrections spokesperson Michelle Glady summarized Dilbeck's final moments. The execution went as scheduled and took place without incident. While there were family members there, um, no one wished to spoke at the event this evening. According to court records, when Dilbeck was 15, he stabbed a man after he was caught stealing a car radio. Then, he stole a vehicle and drove to Florida. There, he killed Lee County Deputy Sheriff Dwight Hall with the deputy's pistol. He was sentenced to life in prison in 1979. In 1990, he escaped prison. Two days later, he murdered Faye. Dilbeck used his last words to criticize Governor Ron DeSantis. He said, I know I hurt people when I was young, and I really messed up, but I know Ron DeSantis has done a lot worse. The sun set as Dilbeck was administered his lethal injection.